Hello, welcome to the Ace Dog Vlog, where I get to pontificate and rattle on about anything I want to. Uh, this week, the subject is a footwork. So normally when I'm in a footwork frame of mind, I get uh, super stoked, a little overexcited, and um, want to kind of rah, rah, rah footwork. But today, <laughs> I'm feeling a little different. I'm feeling a little serious about it. Um, I'm excited because my Feet First is finally a class, an online class where I can work with folks one-on-one -on -one and actually directly help them with their footwork. So because it's so much on my mind, um, I've got all this stuff that I want to talk about and I don't exactly know who I'm talking to I don't know if I'm talking to you or not normally when I do a vlog I know who I'm talking to and what the point is but today the point is um who is footwork for because I got into a conversation with an instructor and part of me thinks that this should be for instructors this talk today, this vlog. And part of me thinks it should be for the newcomer because I had an online consultation with um, somebody I have recently retired, has a lot of time, wants to pursue agility and um, said, you know, I, I feel like I'm such a crappy handler. What, you know, what do you, where do I go from here? I don't, I want to handle better. So I got to have this great conversation with her about footwork. Um, and, and then I also want to be talking to some pretty seasoned veterans in the sport that are still struggling with timing and getting lines set. And I've talked to them and they tell me that they feel like they've plateaued. And I think that this is all real simple stuff. I think it's all footwork. Of course, that's the topic of the conversation. Um, in a big way. And you may, oh, it's not all. Well, of course, but if the footwork is worked out, those folks that consider themselves smooth handlers or good handlers, those, those folks have footwork cues. They have legitimate, a legitimate, practiced, thought out plan for their feet when they're changing direction and when they're setting lines. So the conversation I was having with the instructor was about what level do we bring this footwork in? When do we tell our students it's important? And you know, in a beginner's class, there's like so much training. There's so much to learn. There's so much to understand about everything, <laughs> you know, just getting the obstacles trained control control over the dog, control over the reinforcement. So, you know, how are we going to tell people they got to control their feet too? I think we have to, because I think if they, I think we can save the sport via footwork, honestly, because if the dogs know where they're going next, they're going to stay engaged. And if the dogs are engaged, the people are going to like it more. And it's such a sticky wicket. And I think we can keep it simple. I think if we can teach everyone a good solid front cross so that when they do those side changes, they can set the line. If they learn that, the other line setting will come with it. The footwork for all the other turn cues will be that much easier because the concept of changing sides while setting a line will be there. And I find that it's pretty easy to teach. You may have to spend 10 minutes for four classes on it. And then of course you're gonna have the sink or swims. So now I'm speaking to instructors. Now I can speak to the newbie. If you haven't, if you're not comfortable with front crosses and you're scratching your head a little bit, what does she mean set the line via the front cross? Ask your instructor, how do I set a line is in three steps of the front cross rotation. And they'll show you, and then you can learn it. If your instructor can't show you, it's because this stuff, 
may or may not be available in the class. In the regular everyday class, most instructors are going to say, I, there's too much. I can't focus on the footwork. I'm, a th I'm asking you to rethink that and add footwork in, or at least recommend supplemental, like my class. I've got a footwork class. And um, it's not, it is, <laughs> it is, it isn't, it is, it isn't. It is basic footwork that every athlete learns that was designed by athletes, but they're just a tiny little sliver. I've seen other footwork courses that were mainly that, how to make your brain talk to your feet. That's just lesson one. Then it's actual agility, and then it's drills for the feet and the dog together. So um, I say, make it available. If you can't get it into your classes, if you're in a beginner level class and you can't get it in, if you're in an advanced level class and you feel like it's that one last missing link that you've passed over, um, learn it. Have someone teach you. Don't take the class, but learn it. This is um, this vlog is about inspiring you to learn it. I have not ever done a footwork seminar for a school or a camp where I didn't have at least a couple seasoned veterans come up and say, why don't we teach this sooner? So if you haven't learned it, now's the time. And I hope to see you in feet first. That's my footwork, line setting, get your front cross a solid. There's other turn cues too there. And there's also... Um, a good section on identifying the turn cues. There's a good section on um, video analysis, how to analyze your video better. And um, timing is a huge part. You can have the best, fanciest footwork in the world. And um, if you don't marry it with timing, it won't get you as far as it could with good timing. So uh, check out the class or... Get curious about your footwork. It's such a big, hairy deal. To, the dogs need it. They need you to learn it, okay? All right. Thanks for uh, listening. Bye now.